Well, I'm guys, I'm Al. And I'm Arash. And this is the Call to Whiskey. All, All hail Cal. Cal. Today we're talking about the Shiva's 21 Royal Salute. Let's take a look. Welcome back. So let's unbox this beautiful bad boy. It is quite beautiful. Really? Yeah, take a look. Oh my goodness. Look at the artwork on that. Isn't that amazing? I wish I could put that like as a wallpaper or buy that and like put it on my wall. It this is, is Monty Python. <laughs> this is the royal version of uh, Monty Python. Yeah. Amazing. It is just gorgeous. The, the box is, and it's got that little magnet on there. So cool. Gorgeous. All right. So today's whiskey is 40% ABV. It is chill filtered. There is E150 added to it, so there's caramel coloring. Uh, it's a blended whiskey, so there's malt and grain. A majority of the whiskey comes from Strath Isla, which is one of the oldest distilleries in the Highlands. Uh, but some of it comes from Longmorn, some of it comes from Middleton Duff, and even uh, Glen Levitt and some other distilleries. So uh, let's take a pour. I'm excited. History time. The Royal Salute was created to mark the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II in 1953 and was named after the 21-gun salute fired from the Tower of London for the royal celebrations. This elegant porcelain bottle was glazed in a sapphire hue to honor the precious stones set within the imperial state crown. Between the box, bottle, and beautifully aged whiskey, <laughs> one might say this glass was fit for a queen. All right, so let's take a look at those. So you definitely get those space side like sweet pears, a little bit of citrus. It's not as prominent as I thought it would be. Well, it's not a cast strength, right? So it's 40% ABV, so it's not gonna be overbearing. Um, you know, it's for the, in the, the, the queen, right? Uh, so it's gonna be smooth, as they say. And at 21 years, you expect a little bit more yeah, it's gonna be Yeah, it's gonna be mellowed out at 21. You get that, like summer flowers, Sweet. This has got a bit of a sweet uh, tone to it. Oh yeah, like sweet vanilla, a little bit of dry oak. They're foresty almost. Yeah, I can see that like wet earth, like a little bit of honeycomb and like grapefruit. Let's take a look at the palette. Caramel. It ain't bad. It is? <laughs> it, it ain't bad. I could taste the caramel right mm -hmm. off the bat. Or at least it feels like caramel. Yeah. It's, uh... yeah. it's a little thin for my taste. Um, there's not... There's not as much texture mm. as I would hope um, for something at this price. And you definitely get that earthiness that you're talking about, like that um, like that uh, forest uh, wet earth note. It goes down smooth. Is this alcoholic? <laughs> right. Um, Is this alcoholic? It's almost like gingerbread cookies. It's very tasty. Yeah. I, I almost don't feel yeah. uh, like I'm drinking a whiskey. Almost. Yeah. It's... It, it's um, I guess, in my opinion, since we've had so many cast drinks yeah. and so many uh, high uh, alcoholic mm -hmm. uh, content beverages and and a couple of the blends that were quite sophisticated, this is more of a traditional whiskey, yep. I would say, you would be, yeah. uh, be uh, for, for, for well, normally. Well, it's one of those high production whiskeys, you know, especially you know, when, when, you, when you spend that much money on a whiskey, people want that smooth Right, like they're, they're they're looking for something very specific, so you get like that hazel nut with like caramels and like like fresh grass. It's just the slightest hint of smoke. Shivas always has like a like a like just a, like a hint of peat in there. Is that some water? Yes. The water brings out a sweetness to it. It just gets so what. It really should be a higher proof. It just gets so watered down um, when you add even the slightest drops. It's a little disappointing, but if your goal is smooth, then you know I, I get this that. This is as smooth as you can get. <laughs> yeah, it's like there's butt. barely a burn. Mm -mm. It's like Willie the janitor all greased up and going through the pipes, right? <laughs> Look, it's smooth. <laughs> Lunch, Lady Doris. Have you got any grease? Yes, yes, we do. Then grease me up, woman. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna add ice to it. Um, it definitely, it's too, it's too thin to add ice to. Um, this is a very good whiskey, but it doesn't have too much sophistication to it, in my opinion. It lacks a little bit of character. Um, 
you you'd want it to stand out just the slightest bit, right? You know, for being the Queen's inaugural whiskey, right? Just doesn't though. Yeah. Especially for a 21, it's smooth. Yeah. And I think that's the yeah. um, hashtag I could <laughs> associate to this drink. Yeah. It's smooth. It's too smooth, right? The finish is a little and um, like medium to long. Like it's not it's not a very long finish, but it's like medium. What's the price point on this? I was just gonna get to that. Um, the price on this is anywhere from 150 to 280. Ooh. Right? With an average about 190. Well, <laughs> it does come in a ceramic bottle. The At box. least worth $40. <laughs> yeah, right? Like the bottle itself is really the reason you buy this whiskey, right? It's a beautiful whiskey. It's got an amazing story. It reminds you of a uh, relic from the Templars. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, and there's nothing else like it, right? In Shiva's 21, when you when you have it on the shelf, there's there, there's no whiskey that you're gonna mistake it for. That's right? true. Um, it is it is uh, it does stand out. Yeah, it's an iconic bottle, but the whiskey itself kind of forgettable. It is forgettable. It's smooth. Yeah, yeah but it's smooth. So if your focus is to impress someone mm. or have a smooth drink with someone, yeah, this is recommended. I think that's why. Because it's basically the blue label of Shiva's. Just like blue label and for Johnny Walker. You're buying this probably as a gift for somebody. They know how expensive it is. Uh, it is- Having a boss uh, yeah. over, yeah, trying to impress them. Exactly, so the price itself and the bottle itself, it's, it makes a great gift, but if you're gonna spend your own hard earned money on whiskey, there's so many things better at, at, at that $200 price range. I'll drink to that. Yeah. So before we finish, there was a comment that I have to read on, on here. It was the best comment I think we've ever gotten. Uh, go ahead and take a read. Thus far, yeah. Sid Finch wrote, I am enjoying your reviews, but can you assure me that neither of these gentlemen are time traveling pirates washed up upon the shores of California and who have swiped some hipsters clothing? Sid, we can make no such assurances. Avast ye. Well, on that note, our toast today is, may your anchor be tight. May your kirk be loose. May your whiskey be smoked. And your compass true. All, All hail cow. Arr. Arr. Grease me up, woman. <laughs>